Welcome to Topic 2 of Housekeeping Operations 101 MOOC. Topic 2 is titled as Preparation of a Guest Room. General principles of preparing a guest room is from the guest point of view, hotel point of view, staff and security. Guest looks into the quality and standard. From the hotel side, the cost and economic aspects of running the department. From the staff, the time for the task involved throughout the day. And from the security side, the properties of a guest and hotel. Preparation of a guest room involves a lot of activities. In fact, that is the basic work of a housekeeping department. Preparation of work, clear the place, bedroom cleaning, bathroom cleaning, vacuuming and the final inspection. Let's look into each of the tasks. Yeah, this is one of my students who is happily pushing away a trolley. Trolley packing, this is the most important feature or task in the housekeeping. This is also known as a maid's cut, as a trolley meant to stock a given number of linen, supplies and equipment to service an allocated number of rooms. The maid's cut are designed to carry cleaning products, manual equipments and chemicals which we will look into individually, the soiled and clean linen from the room, the bedroom and bathroom amenities and the garbage from each room. Usage of a trolley. Mid trolley should be placed along the corridor at the entrance of the door to prevent any stranger from entering the room. The opening of the trolley should always be facing the room to be serviced for convenience of reaching the items placed in the trolley. These are the very basic aspects of it. And trolley should be lightweight so that it ensures easy mobility with a set of rotating and fixed wheels to prevent it from puckering corridor carpets to ensure smooth movement and to prevent the wall covering from being damaged which is provided by the rubber bumpers attached to the trolley. If you look at this picture, this clearly explains the main part of the trolley. This is a very basic trolley that you can find in any hotel housekeeping department. If you look at this trolley, you have a top tray, you have two yellow colored bags. One is a small one which is used to collect the garbage and the other one is quite a long one or a big one to collect the soil linen from every room. The first shelf, second and the third shelf. This is the rubber bumper I was talking earlier. And we have one set of rotating wheels and the other fixed wheels. This is the hand carry that helps us to carry all the cleaning chemicals as well as the manual cleaning equipments. So this is the maid's cart or also called as the housekeeping trolley. If you look into the housekeeping trolley, this picture explains to us about the first shelf and the second shelf arrangement. The first shelf of the trolley is to carry the lightest weight of linen such as the face towels, hand towels and pillowcases. The second shelf of the trolley is used to carry the medium weight of linen such as bath towels, bathrobes and yukata. The third shelf helps us to carry the heaviest items such as the bed sheets, both single, queen and sometimes king bed sheets as well depending upon the hotel's bed sizes that you have. The garbage bag and soil linen bag as I explained earlier, it helps you to carry all the garbage collected from the room and the soil linen is from the used linen from the rooms. You should never overload the soiled linen bag as it will block your vision. That is very important and doesn't look nice when you use a overloaded trolley. Moving further, if you look into the wheels, the fixed wheels and rotating wheels. There are four wheels, two fixed and two rotating wheels. Rubber bumper is protected, is used to protect the walls or wood skirting along the corridor from being scratched. It also can maximize sound insulation as it can absorb noise. We always operate the trolley from the fixed wheel side so that it's easier to maneuver the rotating wheels. Empty space provided below the garbage bag which is here is for us to place the hand caddy. The hand caddy will always consist of the supplies to clean up the bathroom such as chemicals and the various cleaning equipments. That is, that was a trolley packing. Now let's move over to the second task which is bed making. If you look into bed making, this is the most important and the beautiful feature of a room. 
Introduction The bed is a main fixture in a hotel room. It must not only look sorry about that, it must not only look comfortable, it must also be well designed and neatly finished to look inviting. Room must be very impeccable to a guest. The main components of a bed is the base, which is a divan, and a mattress, which must really be comfortable and strong. The mattress is usually covered by a mattress protector or a mattress pad to prevent the mattress from wear and stains. This mattress protector is usually cotton because stronger and it is also more absorbent. Of course, you also have a headboard. The linen used to make a bed are bed sheets, pillowcases, blanket, and bed spread. Bed sheets are normally three bed sheets, but nowadays, with more hotels coming up with the use of duvet instead of the blanket and the bed spread, we just use one bed sheet. But let's look into the traditional way of making up a bed, which comprises of three bed sheets. Moving further, let's look into the step by step procedure. Right? Preparation of work. Pull the bed away from the wall. Remove the bed spread properly. Strip and remove used bed sheets one by one. Place the mattress pad properly on the bed and make sure it is clean. Otherwise, just change it. First bed sheet. First of all, as I've told you in the beginning, you, have, you need to have three bed sheets, right? So in that case, we will be using the first bed sheet. And if you look into the picture, the person is standing at the head of the bed. Put on the first sheet right side up. When we talk about the right side or the left side of a bed sheet, it normally refers to the seam line. So when the seam line appears on top, that means the wrong side. Okay. So first sheet the side up and pull it to the divan, tuck it at the top and mitre 45 degrees at the left and right corner. Second bed sheet, spread it. Put on the second sheet wrong side up over the edge until the end of the mattress. That means only until this height and fold it over till the edge on of the bed like this. The step four will be your blanket. Okay, so spread the blanket and pull it until it meets the edge of the second bed sheet. Fold the third bed sheet, which is the final bed sheet. Put it right, spread it right on top of the blanket and just pull a few inches above the blanket line and fold the extra inch of bed sheet under the blanket. And fold the second bed sheet over the third over the blanket and the third bed sheet and firmly tuck the sheets and the blanket along the inside of the bed on both the sides. Okay, all the while you have been at the head side of the bed. Now you move over to the foot of the bed. Stand at the foot of the bed, straighten the mattress pad, the first bed sheet, second bed sheet, third bed sheet, blanket, and by pulling one by one. Tuck the blanket in all the bed sheets at the back of the bed. Mind the 45 degrees at the left and right corner of the bed neatly. Lastly, tuck in both the sides. Bedspread and pillows. Now finally, place the bedspread. Pick the pillow and place them at the top of the folded spread. Turn the bed spread together with the pillows. And final step, finally push back the bed to the headboard. Mind the fortify the bed spread and arrange it neatly. Rectify the bed and ensure the bed is neatly done. Right, let's move over to the bathroom cleaning. Bathroom cleaning, as we have already looked into the various parts of the bathroom, I'm not going to look into the components again. So let's just look into the chemicals. We will use a detergent, a disinfectant, a glass cleaner, dishwashing liquid, air freshener and a cream cleanser. The manual equipments would basically comprise of wiping cloths, glass cloth, lint-free cloth, toilet brush, green pad and sponge. Some additional equipment can be used such as hand gloves, bleach extra according to the hotel's safety features. Hand caddy. This is how you will actually arrange your hand caddy. So standard operating procedures of bathroom cleaning. First of all, you bring in the the room mugs or the coffee mugs that is placed in the room. Wash it separately. And the second step will be you soak the cutlery glasses in water with a little dishwashing liquid. Flush the WC bowl that is your water closet and spray the multipurpose and allow it to soak. Then you wash and rinse your cutlery glasses and replace them at the original place. 
bathtub. Second step, th step three will be bathtub. Clean the shower curtain first and wet the wall and bathtub. Scrub and rinse in circular motion from wall to bathtub. Wipe dry immediately. Toilet unit, open the WC bowl cover, scrub it using the toilet brush and flush after scrubbing and damp wipe the unit, water tank, seat and the base. Vanity counter, look into the mirror cleaning top to bottom and left to right. Clean the mirror using the mirror cleaner and vanity wall also must be used for rag and damp wipe it. If there is a hard or stubborn stain, you can use a green pad and use a little bit of chemical and scrub the area. On the top also, wipe it dry. Damp wipe is easier. Vanity counter again, wash basin will be the last thing you will wash. Pour a little amount of detergent on the green pad and scrub it in circular motion to cover all of the basin. Rinse it thoroughly and wipe it immediately to avoid the watermarks. Supplies, replenish all the amenities like soaps, lotion, shampoo, conditioner, towels and the bath mat. And once you finish, wipe the floor from inside to outside. Replace the rubbish bin and make sure that once you wipe the floor, you will not enter into the bathroom again. And final step, you just check the bathroom anti-clockwise and clockwise and see if it's clean and nice. The last one, the last task is turn down service. This one is usually a VIP service and it's provided only from between 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. and only for VIP rooms. What are the purposes of this service? To prepare the room for sleeping, to straighten up the day's disorder, to leave some token of welcome, a chocolate, good night cut, and to add a personal touch on behalf of the hotel for VIP or unordinary guests. Supplies, good night card. It's a special note from your general manager, your foot mat or your bath mat, some chocolates to sweeten your mouth when before you could sleep, the breakfast menu and the slippers. Turn down service procedures is like this. Remove the bed spread and place the bed spread on the luggage rack or in the closet if it's not occupied. Never leave it on the floor. Rectify the bed sheets and turn down the bed sheet, second bed sheet, like a third, facing the console panel. Place the good night card, the breakfast menu and the chocolate on the pillow and place the foot mat and the slippers just below the side that you have turned down the bed sheets. Empty the ashtrays, rubbish bins, cutlery, just empty everything, check the stationery folder and if you have to, replenish some amenities. Check the bathroom, the bathtub, the toilet unit, the vanity counter and replenish amenities if required. Replace the soiled linen if required. Wipe and dry the floor, close the bathroom door, close the day and the night curtains. These are the curtains. Switch on the bedside lamp, standing and entrance light only. The room is done nicely. This is provided for VIP room, preparing, preparing the room to sleep. So for the guest convenience, the bed is usually turned down on the side facing the bedside table which has a telephone, the bedside lamp and the console panel switch which controls the room's air conditioning, sometimes the lighting and also the door lock. So with this, we have prepared an entire guest room. The preparation of work is by the trolley packing. Bedroom cleaning is through bed making, bathroom cleaning is also a separate procedure and we check that vacuuming is possible, final inspection is also done. And with that, all the task of housekeeping is completed. So with this, you are knowledgeable now on to how to prepare a guest room. Thank you.